Thanks to Linode Cloud Computing for supporting this episode of SciShow. Head to linode.com slash scishow to learn more and get a $100 60-day credit on a new Linode account. Modern commercial airliners are one of the great feats of engineering. Think about it. You and several hundred of your closest friends can travel halfway around the world in just hours. Moving that much mass that quickly takes a lot of energy. And right now, that means a lot of fuel, which obviously isn't great for the fight against the climate crisis. But engineers and scientists are learning more about how to build planes that use less fuel to get where they need to go. And they're looking to nature for inspiration. From shark skin coatings to formation flying, it turns out nature's pretty good at soaring through the skies and can help us address our own mistakes. First, let's get an idea of the scale of the problem. The most common commercial aircraft, Boeing's 737, burns about a liter of jet fuel every second. And with something like 40 million flights worldwide every year, that's a lot of fossil fuel. Aviation accounts for about 2.5% of all carbon dioxide emissions, but because planes emit their pollution high in the atmosphere, those emissions have an outsized impact on global warming. But that also means that even tiny efficiency gains, like shaving off a little weight or reducing drag, can really add up. One way to limit the amount of fuel a plane uses is to encourage the air to slip around it. Airplane designers, searching for more ways to boost efficiency, turned to one of nature's sleekest animals. Sharks. A shark's skin is made up of tiny overlapping scales, and in species of shark adapted for fast swimming, like hammerheads, makos, and galapagos sharks, the scales have tiny grooves that run from the nose of the shark to its tail. Those channels enable water to run smoothly along its body, which reduces the amount of drag the shark feels as it swims. You might think a perfectly smooth surface would be the slipperiest, but sometimes fluid dynamics can be surprising. When a fluid rushes past a flat surface, vortices, spinning tubes of water, form and spin off, taking energy with them. The shark's tiny grooves help prevent those vortices from forming by channeling the water. They also push the vortices that do form a bit further from the body. After looking at the microscopic structure of shark skin, engineers in Germany developed an artificial version they're calling AeroShark. It's a plastic film with tiny grooves called riblets that protrude 50 micrometers from the surface, about as high as a human hair. The airline Lufthansa is coating the bottoms of their fleet of 10 freight planes with the this sharkskin-inspired material, and it's set to improve their overall efficiency by about 1%. That doesn't sound like much, but it adds up to about 3,700 tons of saved fuel every year. Meanwhile, another major plane manufacturer, Airbus, is taking inspiration from geese. Inspired by the V-shape that migrating birds like geese adopt, the idea is to capitalize on the disturbance caused by another plane. As the lead plane flies through the air, it leaves behind vortices, quite a bit like the water lifting off the shark scales. Another plane, flying behind and off to the side, can capitalize on the upward-moving air on the outside of the tube, gaining some free lift. In a recent test flight from Toulouse, France to Montreal, Canada, Airbus found that a second plane used 5% less fuel when following a few kilometers behind another. The nice thing about this strategy is that it doesn't need brand new planes or expensive retrofits, it just needs a change in procedure and some really good communication. The idea is for planes headed over an ocean to time their flights so they can make the journey together. With the success of the test flight, Airbus expects to start rolling this out by 2025. These nature-inspired upgrades are just the latest in a long line of improvements in aviation efficiency. Each improvement might be small, but together, they have added up to real change. Since 1970, the average amount of fuel required to fly a kilometer has dropped by 41%. As more and more people take to the sky, we need efficiency to keep improving. These sorts of nature-inspired techniques are leading the way. So next time you look up, Ask yourself, is it a bird, is it a plane, or is it a bird-inspired plane? This video is supported by Linode Cloud Computing, and if you haven't heard of cloud computing, you probably still use it daily. Cloud computing is used while watching videos, sending emails, and storing files on the internet, along with a lot of other stuff. And Linode has international data centers to bring fast, reliable cloud service to everyone worldwide. It doesn't matter if you're streaming from Singapore or saving files in Frankfurt, Linode can reduce lag time for you. This also means there's a global community of people connecting and learning from each other in the Linode Cloud community. So to join that community of open communication on open source technology and start to find your place in the cloud, you can click the link in the description or head to linode.com slash scishow. That link gives you a $100 60-day credit on a new Linode account. Thanks to Linode for supporting this video, and thank you for watching.